there's actually something that I feel is a really important topic for, I'd say, the majority of people, and that's trying to fit yourself into a mold or living in the world of absolutes. Like, it's either one thing or another. It's either A or B. And that kind of mindset, if you're trying to refine yourself into some sort of identity, it's going to make you feel like you're not enough or like you're not whole. And when you feel that way, you're leaving yourself open and vulnerable to marketers, to people on Facebook trying to take your money or sell you bullshit supplements. And tell you lies like you're willing to believe anything because that hey there's this fit tea that's gonna make your whole life and fix what's wrong with you and the reason you aren't whole so try to not like see things in such black and white a or b like see yourself as all the shades in between because that's really the only way that you're gonna allow yourself to enjoy life, to like, to come from a place of self-love, to work from a place of self-love. You want to feed your body in a way that nourishes your body because you love your body. You want to move your body in a way that makes you feel good. Like, I continuously say now that I started my running journey because I don't find going to the gym a challenge anyway. I find it just part of my identity. It's just something that I do. And I decided that I wanted to challenge myself to do something that's actually going to take some discipline because it doesn't take discipline for me to get to the gym. I'm going to do that anyway. If anything, well, I'm not going to say not going to the gym because if I have a scheduled rest day, I love my rest days. But if I'm meant to go to the gym, I'm going to go to the gym. Like, I don't have any other thoughts other than it's my gym day today. I'm going to the gym. But when it comes to running, it's like, yeah, I'm going to show up at running because that's what I do. I show up. But then it's them making it to the end and giving my 100% in that run and not stopping short. That's the challenge. But there again, I've created the identity of myself where I'm not a quitter. I will finish what I do. Once upon a time, that was my identity. I didn't complete a lot of things because my heart wasn't in it but that's because a lot of the time when you're younger your parents just put you into things and it's like oh I want to do that oh I want to do that like you know the shiny kid syndrome where it's like oh my friend's doing tip tip top doing tap I was gonna say hip hop doing hip hop I want to do hip hop go for a few classes oh no this is too hard I'm gonna give up like that if you're someone who always used to give up and you're trying to still hold that belief or that identity now into the future, let it go because you are being a child. That's what children do. Like, I let it, I clinged to it, clung to it for too long because there were things that I wanted to do where my mum would just be like, you give up anyway, since when do you finish things? So a lot of things I didn't want to start because I got it ingrained into me that I'm a failure. I always quit. I don't finish things. And that's because my mother hammered that into my head. Back in those days when we were children, people weren't aware of all of these different things that they tell their kids. So it's normal for a lot of you to have experienced the same thing. But the thing is, you were a child. That is what children do. They want to do things and then they quit. You aren't a quitter. You aren't a failure. Now you have the chance to visualize the person that you want to be and use your discipline to keep continuing on. Don't let yourself be a quitter now. You aren't a quitter. You're someone that has the power and the potential to finish what you set your mind to because it's going to make your life better in some way. Especially if you're in this group. Especially if you're on Team Ruby. And especially if you have the girls of Team Ruby supporting you. We are in this together and we're going to get to where we want to be. But you just need to believe in yourself. That's the only thing holding you back. Come from that place of self-love. Do things because you want the best for yourself. Love. So I was listening to a Spotify podcast not that long ago and it brought to mind that imagery of the two wolves 
the good one and the bad one. The one that represents hope, faith, love, peace. And the one that represents anger, envy, jealousy, greed, arrogance, resentment. And the father's telling his son the story and his son asked him which one wins. And the father responds, the one that you feed. Now, you can think about that in so many ways. You can think about it in terms of mindset. So the thoughts that you feed are always the ones that will win. Because if logic wins, you lose. If emotion, wait, if logic wins, you win. If emotion wins, you lose. Think about that. Like, if you think about it, it the same goes for you. Like, what you feed always wins. A well fed <laughs> A well-fueled body, a well-rested body, a well-slept body, stress management, all that stuff will always win. Because if you're constantly running on power saver mode, energy saver mode, if you're constantly running in a state of an, like, imagine an empty cup. That's not living. Like, that's why I say it's not about filling your cup first and then letting others take pieces and pieces out of it and then you need to actually wait for it to re refill itself and recharge again it's about being so full of all the good stuff of all the energy of all the abundance being so full of it that all you can do is overflow and you overflow all that goodness constantly to everybody that's what it's about